So I've been working for a couple days now to finish up the garage to bedroom conversion and I wanted to make sure it met both my wife's needs and my needs. Um, it's It was kind of a big thing for me to ask her to move into the garage so that we could keep the house. It's not something that she was really looking forward to so I tried to make it um, as li livable as possible and it turned out uh, pretty good. Uh, let's go check it out. So first we're going, this is, this was the original garage door, but now um, there's a wall here which can close it into a bedroom and then uh, that's the laundry room right now. So let's take a look what's inside. We've got the TV up because that's important if we're going to be in here. Um, my computer station where I can edit these uh, YouTube videos. Um, I built in these wooden boxes uh, in the wall just so you could just throw some random stuff in there because there's always room, always needing room for storage. Um, just put little wood shelves everywhere. Some medicine cabinets. Uh, yeah, that's what depression looks like. So if you um, gave my wife uh, two medicine cabinets, but she's more like doing perfume and the girl stuff. She hasn't even started filling it out. Um, this is my uh, wallet and key dock, so I don't have to keep uh, looking for stuff. This is the control switch to the light, um, and it's a fader, and this is the garage door so we can open up to the outside and take a look that's um it's a good way to air out the room really fast is to just lift up a whole wall um got the Bench station right here. Uh, those are my needs. Uh, so we got the bench station right there. We got the Bowflex uh, station right there. Um, curl bars, more weights, and a punching bag. and some arm loops for some ab work. Um, threw a couple hides on the ground because I uh, didn't want to spend any more money right now since we're not employed. Um, so no tile work or of the laminate flooring. We just threw um, some hides down, which works. And uh, I figured it was going to be really cool a a accent piece for my wife um, for her purses because she has a thing for purses so I don't even uh, really know anything about these things I just know that they uh, accumulatively cost more than my vehicle um, these are her we figured we'd take things that she likes, like her purses and her sunglasses, and we would turn those into art pieces. So instead of like a, a big mural painting, um, we just figured, hey, that looks really cool. And these are her uh, sunglasses that she also collects. Um, I don't really know much about these either. Um, my favorite painting on the wall uh, came from a restaurant that we had my uh, wedding dinner at. Um, after eating dinner, having the wedding dinner, I, uh, I, I needed to have that painting. So I got a hold of the owner and I, I bought it for a pretty hefty price and I uh, shipped it back to the United States. Um, also went to an art gallery last time we were on vacation um, and 
talked to the artist and bought this painting because I just love this painting. Got so got the wood cabinets. Um, from the wife's got some put some clothes and stuff. Um, window with the with the firewood framing and kind of like a, a wooden table. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put some drawers in. I already put in the slides, so we're gonna build three uh, drawers um, pretty soon. And then uh, we're gonna just use these for put our clothes and stuff in. And uh, same with, with these. But today's coral reefs 